What's up guys, this is Domino99 and today we have a pixel art tutorial. Yes, a pixel art tutorial. I'm really excited to doing this because I wanted to do this for a long, long time. So today we're going to create the IF prototype LQ84i. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's from the Metal Gear Solid uh, Rising game. Uh, it's a new boss character that I really loved. I, I'm, I'm a dog person and this is a, a, a robot dog. Better combination is not there. So I'm going to explain what I do or my process of making these characters. And first of all, I'm not a professional pixel artist in any way or form. I just, this is a hobby of mine. I did it when I was a kid and I love to do it. And I just want to help you guys to at least get some knowledge or where to start or how to get better. So first, I always start drawing an outline, as you can see right now. So what I did, I made the arm a little bit more visible on the right side. So I moved the arm to the right so, so I can put it later in place so that I have a perfect view uh, how the model should be. So I made a square so around the, the character, where it, it's kind of like my work area because I know that the character cannot be bigger than this area because on the left side I have a reference uh, for myself that I created. You guys are not seeing it, but it's a reference of a human being or a human uh, or a guy anatomy uh, sprite or pixel art character. Uh, but you can find that on my website. You can download that for free if you want to use that for reference for size and whatnot. So here I'm. So I'm. Let's see what I'm doing. So this is my first tutorial doing this, so it's kind of new for me. So I'm trying to do my best and help you guys out. So here I'm trying to make the body without his legs or arms. So like trying me to figure how big he will be. So right now I'm going to work on his chainsaw because this will give me a good indication on how big he is or will be. So what I like to do if uh, a character have a lot of parts, I like to make them separately. So it's real as you can see, it's pixel for pixel. And this is sped up, of course. This is sped, uh, I think, six times even. It's really fast. This, this whole thing, the whole sprite took me uh, probably a good two hours. So here what I did, I made a line and I just duplicated and now I have the same perfect line for myself. So now I have the chainsaw pretty fast finished. So I was like the chainsaw is too big or too long on his uh, standing part. So now I made that gray because now it doesn't, because white in this program, because I'm using Microsoft Paint. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that. But I made his arm gray so it does, isn't transparent because white is transparent. So if I moved it over it, it would show me the, the outline or the pixels behind it. And I don't want that, so that's why I made gray. So here again, I'm making his, uh, his nails. No, not his nails. His, uh, I don't know even how to say it or what to call it. His claws, that's the right word. Yeah, I try to make his claws. So here I'm trying to figure out where to move on, where to go first. So now I'm going to add his back legs. Is that even a word? I don't know. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not Dutch. Uh, I am Dutch. I'm not English. So, so what I do a lot is when I create something like you just saw, uh, if it's not like the right proportion, I make it black or I just move it and then I delete it later on. So here right now I'm moving the legs or changing the legs, making the legs. As you can see now, I just made it black. So it's really sketchy like and later on I just remove it. So here I remove it. Sometimes it's also like sketchy because it's faster and cleaning up is really fast too. So now I'm going to work on his tail. And I noticed right away that the tail was not going to be perfect. So I started on the end part of his tail that 
uh, is a, some sort of claw mechanism that he has on his tail to throw knives in the game. So I make it a little bit shorter. And now, so I place it so where I really want it to be, so I know where to, where it should be, and where the flow of the tail should go. So right now I'm going to color hit the character on the left side. You can see I've made a color palette for this character. I grabbed it from the actual picture, picture that I'm using as reference. So the character is going to have two colors or two shades. So I'm filling in the, the, the brighter shades in first. And this is a, a pretty easy process. Not really hard. Man, I think this is really one of the best looking characters I've seen in a long time. I, I just love the design. I just had to do this character. And I'm excited because I think next week... Uh, we can actually play this character because uh, next week we will be playing the Malgrasa Rising demo because it's going to be launched in the PlayStation Store. So we're gonna finally gonna add some. We're gonna what? What are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna finally c actually put some more colors. So here I try to put a line to make it l look more clean, more uh, robotic like. Like sharp edges with a with a with a lighting. So now I'm kind of like adding blocks because that's what the character has has like these frame thingies in his on his face. And now I'm trying to figure out. What I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna add shadow. And what I do is adding shadows really easy because shadow explains shape. And what you really need to do is right now I'm thinking that light is coming from the top left corner and it's falling on the character and that's how I'm placing my shadow so it's sh the shadow should be mostly on the right down part of the character so here you can see I made the line uh, the actual color this makes it a really clean look so here I'm trying to make it round And if I don't know what uh, what I should be filling in, I move to something else. So here, like now you can see, I removed one black pixel, but it makes it more smoother. So here, I'm trying to figure out how the shadow would fall, and as you can see now I'm putting uh, the colors on the line. So it's not that heavy and it looks really clean. And it's really like where the light goes, that's where the shadow color should be on the line. That's how mainly I work. So we're adding some more shadow. Here again, I put color on the line. Yeah, I'm not liking it, so I'm trying to change this. But I'm like, I, you should not take too much time on that because you will struggle too much. And then half, half of the time that you're putting into this is more on the arm than on the actual sprite. So I just had to move on, and I could work on that later. So here I'm trying to put uh, lighting on his front end, and I was like, that's that's not really good because the black line should be on the right side because the light is coming from the left. So now it looks really good. So now I'm going to put the chain shot. What I'm doing is putting a light color uh, on top, and it looks really neat. But uh, the second color, I'm choosing a darker version because there's not light coming. So it looks, like, really neat right now. So the top one is the brighter one because that's the, the first one that's getting hit by light. And now I'm adding the same color or a darker color that it was in the background and putting above it so now it stands out more and making it stand out makes it look really go good because it's a dark 
And still, the, the gray is pretty dark, but make it stand out more, and it makes it look really nice. So here I'm trying to figure out, I think, yeah. So here again, I'm trying to put a soft edge, but I was not real like it. And again, now you can see I put the soft edge, a darker soft edge, uh, because it's a different uh, background. So this part I was struggling because I didn't know what to do. Maybe should I should I put a light source on this? So I put a light like a line of a brighter color on the color, as like what I'm doing right now, and then I put a even brighter on that to make it even more shiny, more sharper. But I think I move I remove that later. So like here right now, I'm gonna make the legs. And to make it more rounder, I remove the pixel later. I think I'm gonna do it right now, probably. See, now I made it the the shape more cleaner. And I'm like, okay, I'm I'm struggling right now. Well, I'm not really struggling, but I'm like, I don't know what to do right now. So I'm adding these red dots because the character has it. But don't overdo it. Check it on where he has it, and I. He has it, like, on some spots, he has it, like, five times or so. But just put it once. It's just for, don't don't overdo stuff. Because right now, this makes him look really robotic-like. Because it's, like, it looks like lights. It's not lights on the actual character, but it's a, it just looks really cool. And here, I'm trying to figure out this part to make that look good, make the lighting correct. And still, I'm not really happy with the end result, how it turned out on this neck area. So I tried to smooth it out, but it didn't work out. And again, I made the, the line, instead of having a black line, having the shadow color as a line, it makes it really look really smooth. So here I'm going to put more. So I wanted to have like that black line on there or darker shadow line. So here again, you see I put lights on that. It makes it look really clean. And I was not really happy with his face. I'm putting some light on the claws. Anyway, I put the light again. I'm gonna remove the sh the put the black line. Remove the black line a little bit later on. Here, I was not happy with that arm. I try to give more hard edges. Yeah, I'm trying to find like stuff that I could clean up. And now I choose the dark color and put it on the black lines like I said previously. And this is what I do a lot to make my images look smoother. And what am I gonna do now? Okay, no clue. So here I'm trying to figure out if I could make the chainsaw better. But I didn't. So this was my first tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, please leave a comment if it was helpful or not. Uh, I'm probably going to do more tutorials, more basic, explaining how to do shadow. But right now, I'm going to keep on doing characters. Uh, but also, you can leave a comment on which character you want me to do. So this was Domino99. See you later.